We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Minnesota Twins and the San Francisco Giants. San Francisco come in as losers in their last nine games. They'll try to prevent that streak from reaching double digits next. Lance McCullers, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. Standing in, Eddie James. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Hey, stay hot now. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. So a runner at first with two away, and that that'll bring up Chris Bryant. The third baseman, Chris Bryant. Pitch and drive the kid. Here you go. And now they've got him in a rundown. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. So no runs on. Digging in, Steve Conrad. We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Conrad. They have got no outs. The 2 2. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Ready now, Eddie James. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Gone. Big dogs got to eat. So it's a solo shot to dead center. So his remarkable season continues. And the Twins cut the lead in half here. It's now a two to one ball game. So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. So first and second with one now man back. gone. Let's and that'll bring up the outfielder, Defense. Stephen Duggar. Duggar. Hey, fellas, hold right From here. the stretch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Three, three, three. James is going to get there as he backs yeah, up to yeah, put yeah. it away. And there are two gone now. And now the Giants pitcher, Lance the McCullers. Pitcher, two men on, two away here Lance. in the fourth. McCullers. And he pops uh, him up, uh, uh, drifting toward you, the left side it. of the infield. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is... Top half of the sixth about to get started. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Eddie James. Hey, and in that last at bat, he took this one to straightaway center field, the deepest part of the ballpark. So this guy can hit a breaking ball a long way. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone! Big dogs gotta eat! A solo shot here to left, his second home run of the game as the Twins have rallied to tie it at two. One more time. 
He gets a pitch to handle. You have heard that before. And you can add one more home run onto this already impressive number. Coming to the plate again, Eddie James, as he'll bat for the second Eddie. time in the inning. Yeah, the last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch Let's him a little now. bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. And he fouls this one off. Get your pitch. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. Lifted in the air out to center field. You're going, you're going. Schwarber is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. So they strike for four runs in the inning but are denied a chance to really do damage as they leave. Hey, come on, so guy. coming to the plate, right Eddie James. He flew out in Eddie. his last at bat. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With hey, this guy's big right power, here. he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Schwarber is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So the lineup flips over and digging in Steve Conrad he comes to the plate as the last chance for his side two out here in the ninth and this ball's in the air to left field and this should do it and that is going to wrap things up as the catch is made and the twins have run their winning streak to five in a row now as this ball game is over and tonight's comes to an end six to three the final. The Minnesota Twins rode an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Jake Odorizzi earned his ninth win of the year. Taylor Rogers wraps it up for the save, his 21st of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Tonight. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. No errors. They left 13 men on base. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Minnesota Twins and the San Francisco Giants. The Twins have now won five consecutive games. They'll aim to continue their winning streak next. Geraldo Da Silva will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, it's not easy to bunch hurt. anything together oh, against this guy. In his last three Eddie. starts, he has a whip of under 1.10. So we may see some hit and run. We may see some bunting. And we may. There's a swing and a drive. And everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. So a two-run homer down the line in right field. So his remarkable season continues as the Twins have made it a three-to-nothing ball game. So we'll take one more look, and boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year! Ready to take his hacks again, now Eddie back. James, Go as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched yeah. over the wall last time up. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end left for minutes. Striding in well, once again, Eddie James will swing it from the left Eddie. side right here. Really doesn't matter what side the plate of this. Here's a fly ball well hit. Boom goes the dynamite. A two run blast to straight away right field his second of the game as we are all tied at five. How about the work the lineups have been doing so far fellas. Yeah, Matt, you know what, D-Roll, we got up this morning for this day game here. We were expecting a high-scoring game. Leading off the inning, Eddie James, and they'll need him to get something going here. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. 
only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. Man, that's got the sting for the pitcher and his teammates. They just get on the board and are feeling good about themselves, looking for a shutdown inning so they can get some more runs on the board. But instead, this guy blasts a leadoff double. Getting that shutdown inning is going to be a lot tougher now. Up next for the win. Next right will be field. the cleanup hitter, Max right. Kepler, as Kepler. he'll look to bring home that tying run field. from second with a base hit into the outfield. And this is popped up near second base. Horner's got it for the first down. One gone now in the Minnesota seventh, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Popped up. Horner has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for round number two. So a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Runner goes for third, but a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Twins wind up stranding one. Still a tight ball game. It's six to five. Digging in, Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that on his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. First delivery to him on the way. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first will get him, and the Twins are now down to their final out. Man, everybody knows that losing can become a habit, especially when your losing streak is up into double digits. But they get a win here, and they're hoping they've broken that bad habit for a long time to come. A one-run game, 6-5 to five, the final today. The Giants rode an important Our sixth inning to victory in this one. First Zach the Thompson Giants. gets the win in six relief, runs, his second hits. of the year. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Minnesota Twins and the San Francisco. Logan Webb gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Bryant, the runner at third. James is over at second with one down in the inning. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And the throw comes into third, but it's not in time, and it'll be scored a sack fly and an RBI. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. Now in the box, Byron Buxton. And now the Twins the look to plate more in the box. opening frame. Byron Buxton. From the stretch, the one-two. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. Twins forced to settle for one. On now to the bottom. 
Now to the plate, Steve Conrad. He'll lead things Steve off here off. in the bottom Robert half Johnson. of the first. The second baseman, Steve Conrad. And he pops it up. Polanco ranging it, into the outfield. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first. Now at the plate, Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he Meanwhile, now, this is a drive out to straightaway right field, and it's going to get out of here. A home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Unbelievably, his 80th of the season. As the Twins are looking good here, up four to nothing. So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. Ready to take his hacks again, Eddie James, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, Matt, and that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. A swing and a drive on, sent out toward the work. gap. Come on, come on. Two, but two, that'll two, be two. off the wall in right center. And the runner is in from second. And the second run will score as well as they've opened it up to 6 nothing now. Man, you can't hit it any better than that and keep it in the park. As we take a look here, you can see that it hits high off the wall. Almost a three-run homer, but will have to be content with a two-RBI double. Man at second here with two away. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. Kepler. Now the 2-1. Runner's on his way to third. Pulled it, toward storm. right center field. Duggar's there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Kyle the Schwarber, 0 for 1 12. for him here in this one. Kyle Schwarber. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Striding into the box, Eddie James. He drove in two with a double in his last at bat. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the game as they've widened this lead to eight now. Well, d you know they say records are made to be broken. And what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And go. next will be the done. speed threat, Steve the Conrad. This one Steve. doesn't look good so far. Conrad. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. This is hit high and deep out to left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So the shutout still intact here in the sixth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And we see that these guys are currently in third place in the AL in that department. Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Eddie James. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. 
Dickerson is there and he makes the catch for the out. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the Giants. Number 17. Andrew Stevenson. That's lifted the other way out to left. James will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Pinch hitting for the Giants. Number two. Nico. Corner. Last strike here for the Giants. Skied in the air to straightaway left. He's got it, and the Twins have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail-biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 12-2, to two, the final score in this ball game. The Twins played in an even dozen runs to come out on top today. Jordan Belazovic earns win number seven on the season. Logan Webb permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.